Welcome to the CASIS tutorial series. At the time of this video, version 5 of CASIS has just been released, and one major improvement is that CASIS now includes an advanced fit. This is a very versatile tool that allows the user to perform fits on multiple transitions simultaneously, taking into account constraints on the parameters. Okay, so this long sentence probably does not make much sense, so let's look at an example. I start CASIS by going to my CASIS directory. Okay. And then I open the line analysis tool. I load a configuration file that I prepared for this example and I click on display. So I get this little information that tells me that uh, CASIS found some transitions without any data so it, they cannot be displayed. And here's what I have. So I have a total of 30 plots. Um, and you can see that there are, are several series of five transitions. So five transitions around 85 gigahertz, five transitions around 102, this is the fifth one, and 205 and so on and so forth. So for this example, I'm just going to uh, look at the series at 85 gigahertz and I choose uh, this plot so that it's, I have all of the five transitions in, in one window. So what I would like to do is to fit uh, simultaneously the five transitions with the constraint that the uh, frequency separation uh, is fixed between uh, the transitions based on what is recorded in the database. So I go to the advanced fit tool which opens a fit configuration, I made the window too big, and I right click on one of the transition and click on the fit CH3CCH and this automatically fills in the configuration panel. So I have one parent transition which is the dark blue one and four children so that's a total of five lines and CASIS automatically found the uh, frequencies of the transitions and converted them into a velocity shift. So the parent transition is at zero, and then uh, the order is that CASIS goes to the uh, lowest frequency transition. So we have one transition around uh, 68 kilometers per second, and then around 28, minus uh, 17 is this one, and minus 22 is going to be this one. Uh, you can get, if you do a, a shift and move your mouse, you have the uh, information uh, on the position of the mouse. So we can see from these two transitions that we probably have two components uh, for this molecule. So what I'm going to do is to clone the uh, five transitions. So to make things a bit clearer, I can uh, collapse the first component and then I clone it so I have a second component and if I expand it I have again five transitions. Now to help Cassis with the fit uh, we are going to give a guess for the position of the parent transition. So for the first component so I use again my shift key and I'm going to say it's going to be uh, picking here. So we have, let's say, minus 4 kilometers per second. So here, the central position is going to be minus 4. So you can see here that it has been updated. And if I expand it again uh, with the shift uh, constraint, the guess value is also updated. Now, for the second component, Let's say we pick around here, so we're going to do roughly minus one kilometers per second. Okay. And here again, it has been uh, filled in the configuration panel. So we're ready to go, and we're just going to do a fit current. And you can see that Cassis very quickly found the solution. Uh, if you go to the info panel, 
you see in red is the global fit, which very nicely reproduces the data. Uh, the bl dark blue is the first component at minus four kilometers per second, and the green is uh, the second uh, component at around minus one kilometers per second, and the yellow is the residuals. And you can, of course, as usual, uh, sorry, so you can have a look at the uh, first component only, the second component only, both. Okay, you can play around. Okay, that's it for this first example. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, advanced and complicated example. And as usual, do not hesitate to drop us a line uh, and visit the website. Thanks very much for following us.